In this video, we will focus on the different functionalities of Alamut Visual through the different tracks. The home page gathers information linked to your license, the software updates, and any relevant information concerning Alamut Visual. Please visit this page regularly to be informed about the latest news regarding Alamut Visual. If you wish to display several genes simultaneously, you can launch several Alamut Visual instances from the same computer. In order to do so, you need to go to the menu Application, New Alamut Visual Instance, a new window will be opened. Let's open, for instance, the gene TB53. In Alamut Visual, you have the possibility to move the tracks upwards or downwards, like this, or to hide them, like this. You can also display the tracks you want through the menu Tools, Options, Display, and customize your main screen by checking or unchecking the different boxes. Let's go back to the different tracks. Here is the nucleotide conservation track. It gives you some information about the conservation score for each nucleotide with the FASCONS and FILOP scores. Below is the transcript track where you can create your own mutations. Here are the dbSNP and SRISPROT variants track. The synonymous variants are indicated in green and the non-synonymous variants are indicated in yellow. If you click with the left button, you'll see the consequence of the mutation on the protein sequence. If you click with the right button, you'll get a report concerning the selected variant. Variants identified by SwissProt are displayed here. If you click with the right button, you'll be directed to the SwissProt variant internet page. This track shows the exact variants. A blue rectangle indicates a deletion or a delins. A blue nucleotide indicates a substitution. If multiple single nucleotide variants are reported at the same position, a blue background is displayed along with a plus sign, like this one. When you pass the mouse over a nucleotide, population's allele frequencies and estimated read depth are displayed. If you right-click on a substitution, you'll open the exact internet page concerning the selected variant. Below, you have the ClinVar track. It shows variants of clinical interest. In red are the certainly pathogenic variants. In orange are the likely pathogenic variants. In green are the likely benign variants. And in yellow are the variants of uncertain clinical significance. When you right-click on a variant, you'll obtain a detailed report. You can filter your variant based on review status or by phenotype. If you have an AGMD professional license, you'll be able to access AGMD through Alamut Visual. If you right-click on an AGMD variant, you'll be able to see the PubMed citations, to go to the AGMD variant page, 
to see the AGMD gene page or make an internal mutation in Alamut Visual. Alamut Visual offers you the possibility to visualize data coming from COSMIC even if you don't have a COSMIC license. A blue nucleotide indicates a substitution. A triangle indicates an insertion or duplication and a line indicates a deletion. You can select the type of tissues you want to display here. You can also define a permanent set of preferred tissues here. When you right-click on a nucleotide, you will obtain a detailed report, like this one. Here you have the protein domains track. We can see that this domain covers this region. Below, we have the orthologs alignment track, which shows the amino acids conservation through different species. You have the possibility to load BAM files from your computer or a web server. In order to do so, you just need to click on Application, load BAM alignment from files for instance, and select the appropriate file. The alignment will be then displayed in a new track on your screen. You can see the targeted region here that corresponds by default to the exons of the transcript. This is the coverage and the depth of coverage. The maximum depth of coverage for the gene is reported here. You have the read alignment display below. You can customize the BAM visualization by clicking on this button. For instance, you can squish the reads or you can condense them. When loading BAM files, corresponding VCF files will be automatically loaded if they have the same name. If you right-click on a variant, you will get the VCF properties. You can go from a variant to another one, like this. You also have the possibility to see the BAM alignment statistics here. Finally, this track allows you to indicate your private annotations, for instance, the location of your primers. To create your private annotation, you need first to create the dataset. In order to do this, you need to select the nucleotide involved. Then, click right and select Add Dataset. The dataset will appear here. Then, you just need to right click and select Annotation. If you want to indicate the sequence direction, you can choose to put an arrow. You can change the color and add some comments. And then you can save it. You've just created your private annotation. If you click on it, you will display it. You can, of course, delete it. In order to use Alamut Visual to its full potential, we strongly recommend you to read the documentation. In order to do this, just go to the menu Help, Software Documentation. If you have any technical questions regarding the use of Alamut Visual, you can contact our support team by email through the menu Help, Contact Support. Don't hesitate to visit our website in order to request a free 30-day trial of Alamut Visual.